community. So, yet again, I am back with another VCLT video. Um, the circumstances behind this one are unfortunate, and uh, I do appreciate it. So, I, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, uh, Corey's VC channel, uh, which I'm showing you here. Uh, Corey is just a fantastic guy, and uh, in my opinion, he is uh, one of the best producers of videos uh, within the vinyl community, just given the, the time that he puts into these. Um, his 70s Hard and Heavy series is just fantastic, but uh, he and I have a, a mutual acquaintance uh, who is also a vinyl community member, uh, and I mentioned this guy before uh, in uh, one of my previous videos, um, and uh, the person is Stephen Bell, and Stephen is going through uh, a challenging fight. Um, he is in hospice right now, which is unfortunate. Uh, and Corey did a wonderful video uh, on Stephen, and Corey went up to his place, and uh, you know, Stephen has his good days and his bad days and uh, I was so happy to see that that Corey went up and met with him and uh, Stephen uh, basically gave his record collection to Corey which I, I think is just fantastic and you know when I, I um, reached the state to where Stephen is at um, I would definitely want my record collection to go uh, to someone that that shares that same passion, uh, I guess Stephen had earmarked a, a couple of records for me, and, and told Corey to to pass them to me. So, uh, Stephen, I hope you're catching this uh, because you know uh, I think about you a lot, and uh, and your circumstances. And I just have to say, uh, you know, uh, thank you for thinking about me. I, I'm thinking about you uh, constantly. Um, I can't imagine uh, what you're going through, my friend, uh, but uh, hopefully when you see this, I mean, it'll boost your spirits a bit, um, but thank you, sir. Uh, I'm just going to crack this one open and uh, see what you had earmarked for me. Um, for those that don't know, you know, when I first started doing videos, uh, Stephen, you know, he was one of my earliest subscribers, and he actually sent me a VCLT package and it was just fantastic. So I got the package open. Oh wow. So Steven has sent me the Dizzy Galipsy story uh, and this is on Savoy. Um, I like my <laughs> Dizzy Galipsy. I personally have never seen this one and wow, what an incredible lineup. You got Milt Jackson and Hank Jones and Ray Brown, James Moody. So, and you know, this looks like it's still in the shrink. So, thank you for this. And oh, okay, cool. Um, yes, I am familiar with Bella Fleck. Uh, I do not have anything on vinyl, and uh, yeah, I like my, my I like Bella Fleck too. So um, Bella Fleck is a uh, jazz player, but he plays banjo, and uh, yeah, this is on uh, 180 gram audiophile vinyl. So uh, so now that I'm in, in, in this kick, so I'm going to. Uh, these look like they've already been cleaned up, but um, so over the next couple of days I'll, I'll take the time to digest these. This one I know is fantastic because I have heard this album. So again, Stephen, thank you, and uh, when I return here, uh, I'll give you guys some needle drops. So uh, catch you on the flip side. So I've had a couple of days to spend time with uh, Mr. Stephen Bell's albums 
and uh, I gotta say they were both uh, fantastic listens. So uh, the first one that I've been playing quite a bit lately is the Dizzy Gillespie uh, story album. Yeah, for me, it's hard to believe that somebody would have left the shrink wrap for so long. Um, but this is just wonderful, and it was mastered by Rudy Van Gelder, as I'm showing you here. Um, not one of the earliest masterings by R Rudy Van Gelder, but uh, definitely uh, late 50s mastering by Rudy Van Gelder. Now, this album comes from different sources. Um, they're all with uh, string accompaniment, so... Uh, it's, I don't want to say dated, but, you know, it's of that style. And uh, Dizzy uh, was very important because he was one of the, the forerunners to transferring, you know, uh, some of the swing jazz to bebop. And, you know, he trained a lot of the hard boppers. And, you know, he's also no, noted for his 45-degree uh, angle trumpet, which was a kind of a fortunate accident. Uh, he got bent during a party for his wife. Loved the sound so much, so he had one constructed like this because he liked the sound. And uh, I'm a big Lee Morgan fan, as I've said before, and I know there's a bunch of you out there that like Lee Morgan, but uh, he trained Lee Morgan, and Lee Morgan really cut his teeth with uh, Dizzy Gillespie before uh, going on and uh, joining Art Blakey's band. But... Uh, this is very reflective of Dizzy's personality. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the movie Bird that was done by Clint Eastwood. Uh, it's a really great movie, r really well done. Forrest Whitaker does a wonderful job, but they didn't capture the essence of Dizzy too well. I think Dizzy is a very whimsical type of fellow. He had a great sense of humor. And, uh, you know, this really comes across in this album. And he was known for taking very adventurous solos. And, you know, he has some of the most wonderful compositions ever. A Night in Tunisia is one of my favorite standards. And Salt Penix, who can go wrong with that, that tune? But uh, this was a fantastic listen. So thank you very much, Stephen. Um, <laughs> Someday, I hope to pass this torch on to someone new just getting into vinyl, so thank you very much. Um, this is going to remain in my collection for sure. Uh, the other album was Bella Fleck, of course, and uh, this is fantastic. Um, so, if you're into fusion, say, latter era weather report that was coming out in the late 70s, then you'll probably like Bella Fleck. Um, Bella Fleck was big on the college circuit. In fact, I think when this album came out, uh, he had played at my university. And um, there, while it is fusion, there isn't anything quite like it because of the, the instruments used in the playing. But uh, let me give you a sample here of uh, one of my favorite tracks, the, the Flight of the Cosmic Hippo, the self-titled one. So here you go.
Once again, Stephen, thank you. Um, I've had this digitally for the longest time, but I never had it on vinyl, so this is great. Now I got something to spin. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention that, hey, this is, you know, if you can find this, go for it if you like what you heard because it is pressed at RTI and it was mastered by Ron McMaster. And how can you tell? You see the RM in the dead wax. So it doesn't get any better than this. So once again, Stephen, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I wish you the best. And, you know, I hope the music will keep playing uh, as long as it possibly can for you. And uh, when I get to uh, that point in my life, these are going to be passed on to somebody that just loves the music as well. So thank you very much. I can't think of anything better than what you're doing. And, uh, you know, when it comes to my time, uh, I'd like to do the same. I'd rather see my music go to someone that loves it. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for watching.